Guys, if I don't fail today, this is gonna be it. No more cooking videos. It's kind of like if you're really bad at sports like me and you're out there trying to shoot hoops and you just cannot get the ball in the hoop and then you finally do, that's when you walk off the court. Cause you know, you don't want to shoot another hoop because if you miss, then you're gonna have to redeem yourself again. So if I succeed today in making something edible, this will be the last cooking video. Until the next cooking video. All right, let's make some Schwarzwalder Kirschtorte. What's up everybody, Sam here, AKA Chef Derp, AKA all kinds of other nicknames that I don't really want to talk about. Flozell, White Trash, Petrified Wood. Yeah, you don't want to know. So today we are going to make Black Forest Cake, Schwarzwalder Kirschtorte. Now before I get started, I need to make a big shout out to Elena H. And I need to apologize because I was going to ask her for her recipe for Black Forest Cake. She commented on my last cooking video saying she had a really good one, but I was too late. It was my fault. I sent that message like yesterday morning and mom had already gotten a recipe for me and we bought the ingredients. However, I must say mom's recipe does look quite a bit simpler, which is probably good for people with my level of expertise, that is to say none. Next time though, Elena, I will use your your recipe so I'm sorry about that. So last week when I told you guys I was gonna make this I got quite a mixed response. Some of you said I'd have no problem with this and others said this would be the most ultimate epic Sam fail so I guess we'll see. Well guys why don't we jump right in. So you're gonna need lots of stuff for this okay you're gonna need 10 tablespoons of sweet butter this is gonna be need, need to be clarified butter six eggs which you need to have at room temperature one teaspoon of vanilla extract one cup of caster sugar one half cup of sifted flour, and another half cup of unsweetened cocoa. For the syrup, we're gonna need cherry syrup and Kirschwasser, I'll talk about that a little bit more later. And for the filling and topping, we're gonna need three cups of chilled heavy cream, a half a cup of confectioner's sugar, one fourth cup of Kirschwasser, one cup of drained and rinsed canned sour red cherries, more cherries for the top, and chocolate curly thangs for the decoration. First things first, take all your ingredients out, but leave the shaved chocolate thingies and the whipping cream in the fridge. Now we're gonna preheat the oven to 180. This right here is a 23 centimeter cake tin. Just grab this sucker, flip open this thing on the side, and bam. Now we're gonna take some parchment paper and lay it over this. Oops. Snap this sucker back on over the parchment paper and cut all this excess stuff off. Now we're gonna butter the sides and the bottom of this pan. All right, now let's put some flour on it. I didn't mention this, guys, but I put my clarified butter That's terrible. I almost just dropped like super hot butter everywhere because these stupid gloves. Yes, you need to do that to your clarified butter. Okay, let's add some flour to our pan now. Shake it around. Now that we're all buttered and floured up, let's get this stuff out of the way. Now we get to get all mixy mixy up in this joint. In an electric mixer, beat the eggs, vanilla, and one cup of sugar together at high speed for at least 10 minutes or until the mixture is thick and fluffy. By hand with a rotary beater, this may take as long as 20 minutes of uninterrupted beating. These eggs are supposed to be at room temperature, but they're not quite yet, so I'm gonna break them. That's what you suckers get for not being warm. Let's go ahead and put our sugar in the bowl. Okay, I got sick and tired of waiting, so I microwaved the eggs a bit, and now they're ready to be mixed. All right, good stuff. Pour that in, add our vanilla extract as well, and get mixed. Oh, I probably need to plug this in. Now we combine our half cup of unsweetened cocoa and a half cup of flour to the mix. All right, now get a little rubber spatula and now pour this mixture into a sifter over the other mixture. So I'm just gonna let a little in and to cover it up and then add some more. Rinse and repeat. Thing is, you don't wanna over mix this stuff. most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. And last but not least, we are going to add our melted clarified butter to this mixture, two tablespoons at a time. Don't over stir this, guys. Trust me, Chef Derp knows what he's talking about now. In total, you wanna to add 10 tablespoons of this clarified butter. Oh, it's so beautiful. All right, guys, now we have to pour this into that. Scrape out the rest. Resist the temptation just to eat it. I like making cakes, guys. It's so much better than making spätzle. You know, I didn't even like that. Yeah, never mind. This is gonna be delish. Ah. Now's when the magic happens, guys. We're gonna take this beautiful looking, beautiful tasting cake and put it in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 
30 or 40 minutes. That's not fail, Sam. This would be a really, really bad time to fail. Guys, I didn't fail. I did not fail. Watch, wow. I... Chef Derp, the boss. All right, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, whatever. All that cake is baking, I think I'll eat my lunch. All right, guys, it's been just about half an hour, so we're gonna test it with the knifey. No, definitely not. I don't even have to stick that in all the way. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, it's knifey time again. Let's see how our cake is doing. And it came out clean, which means we could take it. We could take the cake out. Must be very careful. This would be another really bad time to mess up. Yes. Now that's cooled a little bit, let's take off this outside rim thing that goes around the cake. Yes. And while that continues to cool, we will make our syrup. Now for the syrup, you're really only gonna need two things, cherry syrup and Kirschwasser. Now Kirschwasser is a very German liquor and you have to have it in the cake to make it really taste German. Now Kirschwasser is essentially just cherry flavored schnapps, but if you're in America, don't go buying cherry flavored schnapps, it's a joke. Schnapps in America is only about 20% alcohol and it's really, really sweet, so yeah, just don't buy it. You'd be a whole lot better off just buying some vodka and making it taste like cherries. So you need five tablespoons of each of these things. Alrighty, that's that. Now we're gonna allocate some cherries. So basically what you really need to decide is how many cherries you want on the top of your cake. I'm gonna cut this into at least 10, maybe even 12 pieces, so I want at least 12 cherries to go on the top. So let's go ahead and set at least that many aside. We could just split the rest of the jar between the other two layers, or we might want to save some more for the top. This next part is going to be the hardest part of all, I think, because we have to cut this little cake into three layers. So we need to make two cuts. I'm gonna use yarn, string, I mean, um, thread. You could use a knife, but I think thread will make things less prone to fail. <gasps> we did it. And then we pour on some... You want to... Oh, that's a good idea. I was just gonna pour some on and look like an idiot. Like if I actually had a good cooking show, it probably wouldn't be very popular. Okay, that's enough of that layer. So now we need to take our thread and go thready thready through the cakey cakey. Okay, we need to make the topping then. Okay, so to make our whipped topping now, we need three cups of whipping cream that needs to be very cold. We also need one teaspoon of whipping stiffener and then one half cup of confectioner's sugar. All right, let's measure out three cups of this stuff. Whipping cream. One, two, three. Let's add our half cup of sugar. Oh, I should probably plug it in. <sighs> beautiful. Oh my gosh. Y'all don't even know how beautiful this is. I don't know why I is so funny. There, it's perfect. Okay. You wanna help me? You wanna help me? It's beautiful. Okay, here's father stuffs. I wanna do this. I like painting. Now I'm gonna use science and decide to put not so much on this layer and more on the top layer because you know stuff goes down and then the Kirschwasser on the top layer will soak down into the bottom layer. So I'll put more on the top layer than in the middle layer. Yeah. Gravity. Really liking how this is looking. Let's add a couple little brush strokes here. Just touching up the edges, people. And then let's, let's dab. Let's dab a little bit too. Okay, perfect. Oh, you, so you bring in the big guns. Okay, that's, that's <laughs> enough. That that's enough. Wait, wait, wait. wait. We, no. Yes. Oh, yes. Is that looking good? What are you doing crawling under the camera? Okay, time for the final top layer thing. Are you ready for this? It's beautiful. Okay. Oh, we need to go pokey pokey. Oh, that's beautiful. 
it's so gorgeous. Yeah, do it. All of it, just put it right on, yeah. Guys, we're almost done! Yes, now we go around the edges. Yeah, just get it done. What are you, what are you trying to, why is thigh? Now we stick some in here or what? The people like you, mom. We should have a mom and son cooking show. You know, I've done a couple cooking videos in my time and <laughs> I don't know if that's something I'd like to pursue as, I don't know. All your fans think you should. Yeah, they think I should do actually do the 100 days till I learn to cook. And I'm, you know, I honestly wouldn't mind doing that, but I'm not making a video of every single day because the video makes it take longer. You want to practice a little bit on, on no. the plate? No, YOLO. Yes, I'll add like little crowns on them. <laughs> That's so cute. No, wait, the cherries are going to be there. Dang it. Okay, something epic in the middle. Y'all don't even know. What do I do with this? I'm so creative. I'm artsy fartsy. Ding, ding, ding. Sam versus cake. Let's check the time. Yeah, it's been like four and a half hours. I don't even know how to dance to this. I don't even know what dance yeah, I should do. Did show Yan Can Cook? I have. Sam Can Cook. I've never seen that show. I just want to stick my face in it. I can cook, guys. How to pour vites and suckers. Uh. That didn't work. <laughs> it usually works.